Visitors to wartime Kiev are often surprised by how normal life here seems to be. But there's something missing in this picture, the pleasure boats. Normally on the Dnipro River, there were always lots of yachts, catamarans and kayaks. But since the full-scale invasion, civilian navigation on the river is banned. Instead, military craft ply the waterways on the lookout for danger. Russian-launched Shahed kamikaze drones often fly low along the river when they're attempting to attack the Ukrainian capital. So these riverboat patrols are an important part of Ukraine's air defences. They are using the low altitude, so low heights. That's why they can uh, send those drones and uh, almost invisible. What radar can't detect, more low-tech methods can. Visual, no. We spot them visually, or by the sound they make, and then we shoot them down. But I'm not allowed to tell you exactly how. Like so many in today's Ukrainian military, Anton was a civilian before February 2022, a merchant ship captain traveling around the world. The invasion changed his life. The first day the Ukraine was hit, I uh, gave repatriation request. And that was in India, I guess, yeah. And then the vessel heading into China, so there was no uh, chance to sign off from the vessel because of the coronavirus. So I have to wait like a month and a half. He says the Navy was the obvious choice for him, even if it meant piloting much smaller craft. Ukraine currently has no large warships in operation.